June 26, 1936, the Falkel Wolf FW-61 made its first flight as the world's first practical helicopter. Introduced into service with the Luftwaffe soon afterwards, the FW-61 only had two copies built, but was a harbinger of things to come. Attempts to invent practical helicopters had been going on for decades and in various countries, including contemporaneous with the FW-61. Company namesake Professor Heinrich Focke had invented various flying machines, including auto gyros prior to his collaboration with Gerd Archelis, but the two engineers decided auto gyros were not quite the end result they were looking for, and the quest for true vertical takeoff and landing continued, until finally the FW-61 made its maiden flight. A new company was formed reflecting the names of the chief engineers, Falka Akjelis, to develop the FW-61. Today, helicopters are so ubiquitous that it is hard to imagine life without them, especially in the military and in search and rescue. Of course, many other applications for helicopters exist, including the medical evacuation flight or life flight that saved the author's life in 2012. Firefighting, police work, industrial lifting, maintenance patrol of high tension lines, anti-drug and anti-submarine patrols, mapping, wildlife management, news reporting, sightseeing, taking cargo and people to remote places, and almost anything else you can think of. Tiny one-person versions to enormous heavy cargo and personnel carriers, including the familiar Marine One that carries the American president. Originally powered by gasoline engines, helicopters today are commonly powered by much more powerful turbine jet engines. All this began with FW-61. While Russian immigrant to the United States Igor Sikorsky is often thought of when discussing the invention of the helicopter, his first practical machine, the Sikorsky R-4, did not fly until 1942 when it also entered service as the first U.S. military helicopter, seeing limited service in World War II. The R-4 was the first mass-produced helicopter, with 131 copies made from 1942 to 1944. Sikorsky had previously demonstrated the VS-300 in 1940, showing that he could indeed design a helicopter that worked. Both the R-4 and the FW-61 were limited by the amount of power their engines could make and still be light enough to fly vertically. The R-4 had a 165 horsepower engine, soon replaced by a 180 horsepower model. The FW-61 had a 160 horsepower and flew at a top speed of only 56 miles per hour. The lifting capacity of the FW-61 was only about 330 pounds of fuel and pilot, meaning this first helicopter was not a viable method of attacking with weapons or transporting people and equipment. The main rotor spanned only 23 feet, and the empty weight of the machine was 1,764 pounds, a tiny helicopter by today's standards. A follow-on development by the Falka Akjelis company that actually achieved production status was the much larger and more powerful FA-223 Drake or Dragon. Starting in 1941, 20 of these machines were built and actually fielded by the German military. With a 40-foot-long fuselage and two main rotors arrayed in a side-by-side -side configuration mounted on booms extending to each side of the fuselage, the FA-223 was powered by a 1,010-horsepower Bramo radial engine that allowed a lift capacity of over 2,000 pounds of cargo, or people, and a top speed of 109 miles per hour while achieving an altitude of just over 8,000 feet. Allied bombing in 1942 hampered production of this first operational military helicopter, and a second factory was built to replace the first one that was destroyed. That factory was also destroyed by Allied bombing in 1944. After World War II, helicopter development continued around the world, and aviation soon had a true vertical lift capability that was widely available. 
probably the biggest advancement in helicopter technology came with the use of turbine engines, which not only provided more power per pound of engine weight, but also used much less flammable jet fuel instead of highly volatile aviation gasoline. As a question for my students and subscribers, have you flown in a helicopter? Do you have any interesting helicopter-related stories? Please let us know in the comment section below this video. If you liked this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated.